Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. This is a displacer. Notice, uh, we'll get a different view here. That piece sticking up there has a sharp point on it and it's a piece of coat hanger. This is dead center of the can. I'll show you how to get that later. If you can see the line scratched on the bottom, that's done in a unique way. It finds the exact middle. I find the screw pretty much the length from the edge here to here. And I use the head of the screw going back and forth as I turn this back and forth. The head of the screw or the point should sit right on this little lip and it never gets any longer or shorter. So as it goes across, if it doesn't cross the exact middle, it'll make a circle in the middle so you can find the exact middle. Then I take a uh, stinger drywall screw or something with a very sharp point and I tap the very center just a little bit to start my hole. Then I take this sharp end and I stick it in there and I turn it till it just barely goes through. That way I don't have to use as much glue to seal it. This is the bottom of a tuna fish can here at the top and this is a regular uh, can from some vegetables. It's a little bit uh, it's the wider ones, not the thinner ones, the wider ones. But, as you look over here, this is a stew can here. This is the bottom of it. This is the, right here. And this is the top of it. And I cut into it, and if you'll notice here on the edge, I don't know if the focus is going to show it. Yes, it does. Right here. This comes out and then back in. It's got these ridges. Here's in, 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 in. Right out here is a, where it comes out. You can tell by the reflection as well. But this is in. On this one here, I cut it to where it's out. This way, this will set down and fit where it'll want to go in acting kind of like a funnel. And here's what I do. I'm going to set this right here. After I've set, uh, let's get to this part first. This outside piece of the tuna fish can slips over the outside. And I had to press that down very hard. And I've run this wire all the way through. Just before I push this down all the way, I put, a, I put some epoxy on the insides of the ridges and then push this down over it. And then I put a little bit more, and that makes this seal. At the very bottom, I just bent this sharply. And then, I loaded the uh, epoxy on the bottom of it. When I set this down, I don't want that wire to touch. See, this doesn't rock, so that wire is not touching. All right, then it came up here, and I've done the same thing here. When you're done, you want to fill the sink with some hot water, and then you want to submerse this long after the glue is dried. You want to submerse this and see if any bubbles come out. The hair will expand and put pressure on it. And if there's any leaks in this, the bubbles will cut. You'll see bubbles and you'll know exactly where it is. Take it out, dry it off fast before it cools off and sucks the water inside it. You do not need water or moisture inside this. This is the displacer to your Sterling engine. Now, this is the bottom. You'll notice the size of this. It's not quite as big, but it does real well. The less air that you have on the sides, the more efficient your Sterling engine will be. But you've got to have enough room for the air to go through. This is a very good match then the amount of air you have at the end is how much air that you're going to be expanding and contracting and moving your piston with. So now I'm going to set this on it. Let's see, I'm doing this pretty good usually. There we go. It usually takes a few tries. Now once I get this set in I'm going to do this on a press that has 
a bar that runs across this way and over here on this side and leaves this alone and puts this down straight fast. These edges are sharp. You can cut yourself. You want something that pushes this down completely flat and level at the time or it's going to want to do this. And you might have risk of uh, damage in your Sterling engine. I've tried to push this one down. A straight flat board on a step that comes down just perfect to it and hit it with a hammer. Sometimes you can do that. But you don't want to damage your displacer. But here's something to show you. If I grab this all the way at the bottom and I lift the displacer until it comes up and touches that can, that distance right there is going to have to be split in half for the length of the shift on my cam later. We'll get into that, but for right now, this is just showing you what's going to go. I'll show you pressing this down, and we'll show a couple other models that you don't even need a press for. After that, we're going to put a piston right here or on the side, and then we're going to put a flywheel. This extra length up here, this is going to get shortened down and have a small loop down here. Everything will come together as we go. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.